Hello everyone and welcome to Stream and Tech Now. I've been getting several comments asking where in the world is the Google Play app shortcut on your home screen? And for some reason, I don't know if it's just an oversight from Google, but they didn't give you an actual icon here for the Google Play Store. And for those of you that use the apps only mode, the only way you can actually get to the app store because it's actually not up here you have to go into settings and then you have to go all the way down to apps and then there's the Google Play Store right there. So that's how you have to do it if you're in the apps only mode. Otherwise, if you are in the regular mode, you can go all the way to the top and click apps or you can use the search assistant and choose which app you wanna search for. But if you're in the apps only mode, as we know, there is no search function currently in that profile. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually get this shortcut right here, the Google Play Store app. I'm gonna show you how to get that. It's very easy to get that. And as you can see, now all I do is click it and boom, it takes me right into the Play Store. So I'm also gonna show you two other tips that you can use as well. I'm gonna show you that coming up next. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how we can get the Google Play Store app and put it right here on our home screen. And it's very easy. So all we need to do is we need to get this app right here called Downloader. Now, if you already uh, don't currently have it, then you can just go right in the Google Play Store and you can get it for free. It's a completely free app. It's called Downloader. I highly recommend you get this app if you don't have it already on your device. So go ahead and get Downloader and open it up. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and type in this bit.ly link. This is a compressed shortened link. You can feel free to pause the video and type that in. And once you type that in, then what you want to do is just go right here to where it says go and click the select button on your remote. And by the way, it is case sensitive. So make sure you type a capital letter if it's a capital and lowercase if it's lowercase. So you're going to get this screen right here. We're going to go ahead and click install. And then once it's done installing, this is exactly what it's gonna look like right here. Click done, and we can click delete because we don't need that file anymore. And that's it, so we're gonna go to the home screen. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll over to see all, right there. Click see all. And we're gonna go down here, and as you can see, there is the shortcut right there so we want to go ahead and put it um, above so that we can see it on our home screen so just push and hold that select button on your remote and it's going to give you this option we can click move and we can just move it up click it again and now go back to the home screen and boom there it is right there so let's try clicking it and see if it takes us right to the google play store and as you can see it takes us right to the Google Play Store. So that is gonna be the easiest and best way to go ahead and get the Google Play Store APK shortcut right on your home screen. Now it will work whether you're in apps only mode or the regular profile, it doesn't matter, okay? So I'm gonna show you two other things right now. Okay, so the next way, if you don't wanna do this method to get the Google Play Store, uh, shortcut like this. The other option that you can do is you can get this app right here called Sideload Launcher. And this is really nice. I usually just keep this right on my home screen because you just click it and then it essentially has all of your apps right within here. And as you can see, there is the Google Play Store. I can just click that and that will take me right into the Google Play Store. And the Sideload Launcher is free and you can just go up right to the search here and you can speak side load launcher and it's going to be that first one right there so i already have it um, installed on my device but like i said it's free you can just open it up and as you can see it has all of the apps right in here so it's just essentially one extra click because if you go back to the home screen you're clicking in on this app and then you're clicking in on the google play store but 
it's a very good app. A lot of people like this and it makes it uh, kind of streamlines your home screen as well. So this is one way I'm going to show you one other thing. Okay. So in finally, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remap one of our buttons to be the actual Google play store. So I don't use the Netflix button. I'm going to go ahead and remap my Netflix button on my remote. And I'm going to just remap that Netflix button to the Google Play Store. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So all we need to do is go to the Google Play Store and get this button mapper app. It's free. So go ahead and install it and then open it up. And then once you open it up, you're going to notice that you have a few different options. Now, the ones with the lock feature on here, there is a paid version. So I believe it's like $4.99 or $2.99 or something like that. But that, um, if you have the paid version, you'll be able to um, remap certain buttons with the lock feature on there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to add buttons. We're just going to click add buttons. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click add buttons again. And here's where we just simply select the Netflix button because that's the button that we want to remap. So I'm just going to simply choose that on my remote. And if it goes to Netflix, that's okay. Just hit the back button and it will take you. And as you can see, here it is right here. So we want to go ahead and click on it and then just click it again. And then what we want to do is go down to customize and just simply toggle that on so it's blue. And now you have single tap, double tap, or long press. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use single tap. Now this is how you want to tap the button. If you want to single tap the Netflix button, if you want to double tap the Netflix button, and so on and so forth. So for my particular scenario, I just want to simply do a, a single tap. So I'm going to choose single tap and click it. And here's where we can tell what the button to do. So we can choose an app if we want it to use do an app. So, and I showed in another video how we, I chose system settings. So now I'm gonna go and find the Google Play Store. Right there. So I'm just gonna simply click that. And as you can see, it has the Play Store icon right there. And that's how we know that it is done. So we are all set. So I'm gonna go back to the home screen and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my remote and then I'm going to simply click on this Netflix button. So let's watch that. There you go. See that? I'm going to do it again. Hit the home screen, take my remote, hit the Netflix button, and boom, it takes you right to the Google Play Store. So that is another method that you can do. You can just simply remap one of your buttons on your remote to the Google Play Store. I hope this information is helpful. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Streaming Tech Now.